So I looked at a couple demos available during this Steam Next Fest thing, and one that initially caught my eye out of sheer morbid curiosity was one called Autopsy Simulator from Woodland Games. They actually refer to it as a morbid simulation in the description, so we, we both know why we're here, which, which is nice. I'll admit going into it, I didn't expect to have any thoughts about it. There are dozens of games with titles like these that are kind of disposable, half-realized thoughts. Uh, it insert X profession or activity simulator and I downloaded this demo knowing that knowing I'd giggle at some mundane thing uh, become gamified for a moment and then move on to something else even looking at this developers page they have a few other simulator games in the works like taxi simulator and urban explorer I don't know if any of these projects will see completion a lot of other simulator devs just announce a shitload of these that never go anywhere but after playing the demo for autopsy simulator I, I definitely like to see what the final product would look like for any of these. Th there's something here, some weird thread they should keep pulling at if they if they do indeed intend to finish it. What I was immediately struck by was that it had like a creepy atmosphere and a, a linear plot to it. It wasn't in the most common sense a simulator game where you just kind of perform a menial task that idly entertains you based on maybe randomized elements or some kind of predetermined template or the entire of its gameplay is centered around joke physics or intentionally squirrely and difficult controls. No, you control, like, a character that seems to have a personality and a history, things he's going through, he's got like a, a dead wife or some mental health issues. I mean, most video game protagonists do, but I didn't even expect to have a protagonist at all. He works in some kind of haunted nightmare facility that simply cannot be sanitary. Oh, you still have your uh, gloves on. I'm, I'm glad you're staying uh, protected. The homeless probably misses me already. I, am, I see flaws in this thinking, though. It's also set in the early 90s, which I think was a smart move because you actually have to fuss with Polaroid cameras and old tech, and you don't have to deal with a bunch of boring PC interfaces and such. So in this scene you get to play out in the demo, it does guide you through some gameplay that you'd expect out of a simulation. You do go through the extraneous steps of performing an autopsy, one that is being dictated for educational purposes. You photograph the body, look over crime scene notes, determine points of interest on it that may help determine the cause of death, and you explore those theories in a rather detailed fashion, taking out organs, opening them up, taking blood samples, running tests on it. There is some measure of realism to it, but it is always holding your hand, and as it goes on it becomes increasingly surreal and clear that there is more to be concerned with than completing an autopsy. It is always worth having a look at the files before conducting the autopsy. That is where we can find all kinds of clues to what could potentially happen. <laughs> Files. It's also just a very strangely professional feeling demo. It, it looks really nice. Every interaction you have with the environment has a well done uh, sort of bespoke animation where you can see the dude's hands actually doing it, which is something I appreciate a great deal, but also realize is probably an unnecessary headache for a dev team. Especially with this type of game, I wouldn't be surprised to see a bunch of janky animations, cluttered UI, or these like simplistic placeholder assets, but this is a really tight vertical slice. There are some light puzzles or mini game elements to the actual autopsy, which are amusing, but I'm intrigued if they are meant to always be scripted and following a prompt, or if the plan is to leave you to figure things out on your own eventually. That's the weird thing about it. Presuming this is a real game, I don't know how everything would work over the course of several hours, but I can definitely see it being interesting. Mixing these clinical elements with nightmare hallucinations and such. Beyond being visually creepy, there are like two scares, I guess you could say, throughout. And one is a jump scare that, that falls a little flat. And the other was surprisingly upsetting. Uh, strangely, because of the audio quality, I think. It's like they recorded a jump scare uh, with a fucking ASMR mic or something. It just, it sounded like it was inside of my brain and it sent a shiver down the spine, uh, even though I knew it was coming. 
I just didn't expect it to go that hard. And I am a hardened gamer. Not only that, I, I'm dead inside. I'm very curious about the, the personal life of this, uh, this medical examiner man. Like, I'd be very interested if uh, after we do the uh, all the autopsies for the day, we just kind of follow him home and like learn what his routine's like. Like, what does he get up to? Yeah. Mm. My man's headed down a dark path. Judging by the other screenshots and videos they include on their Steam page, this does strike me as something that could change wildly as development continues, or you know, one of the other projects could take off and this one lies dormant. We're going to need better zoom here. Damn, dude, you don't gotta do it like that. In any case, a very competent and promising demo that I am not gonna hold my breath for, uh, b but it's also just a neat little micro game experience on its own as well. <laughs> it went quite smoothly today. Really, but I'm about to get off. You're gonna do what? I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, oh no. Go down!